This is Professor Derif Seitz. This video shows a chi-square curve in Microsoft Excel. The curve here is a scatter plot with the smooth type. You insert a scatter plot over here and you click on this. There's one over here which is the smooth line scatter plot. <clears throat> the data that backs it is over here, X and Y values, ordered pairs. Scroll down, see that altogether down through row 24 from row four is 20 ordered pairs. And the X values start at zero because the domain of this distribution starts at zero and is, includes positive values, not negative. And then beneath it, each cell adds one to its prior cell. To generate the, the height, the Y value, Microsoft Excel's chi-square distribution function is used, takes three parameters, A4 for this particular case here is the X value. And as we move down, you'll see that everything is the same except for the X value changes as we move down on the ordered pairs. And dollar B, dollar one, that's an absolute cell reference, not relative. The De degrees of freedom, different degrees of freedom result in different curves. And the last parameter is set to false in order to get the probability density function shown here. There's a comment that the mode or the high point on the curve occurs over degrees of freedom minus two when the degrees of freedom is greater than or equal to three. Here we're at four and the high point is over two down there. <clears throat> we change the degrees of freedom Right now, we see that this curve is skewed to the right. We go to five, still skewed to the right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We see as we increase the degrees of freedom, it becomes less skewed to the right and more symmetrical, looking somewhat bell-shaped as the degrees of freedom increase. And the, we'll put it back to four, the chi-squared curve, the distribution always uses right-tailed test. That's its focus.